Hi and welcome to my channel. So this last weekend I went to the Go Go Getaway. So they had a full weekend event and then they had a day delegate option. And seeing as it's only 10 minutes away from my house, um, we decided to go for the day delegates option. And it was awesome, absolutely awesome. So I just thought I'd show you what I created and also what we got for that option, just for those that might be thinking of going. If you wanna go, go, uh, it's well worth it. So um, we arrived at the hotel and we had these lovely goodies waiting for us on the table. So I've got my little name tag and then we had a number of which we played uh, what I call Irish bingo uh, where everybody stands up and when your number's called out you sit down and whoever won got the prize. So this was on the table and this is what we got. I didn't win any prize but that's fine. I've definitely got some goodies to play with. So the first thing we got was these Prima watercolours and we did use these on the layouts and we got the classic variety so just to show you the sort of vivid colors that you do get in these that's the little sample card that i made up with them all so we got those which we use throughout the day and as we found out they even have a little little ring pull for you to put your finger in and hold them so you don't drop them while you're painting so we got those and then we got this gorgeous reflections kit from Alter New. So you don't tend to see this in the UK very often. So it's very nice to be able to have hold of this. And I'll show you the layouts we created shortly. But so you can see all the goodies that we got in this kit. Let's move it around that way. Now, I have tidied up a little bit because I, of course, had stuff everywhere because I've been using it all weekend. But there was a sheet of acetate pieces of which I think I only have a couple left, but I'm sure their website will have the full details. So I've got a couple of the little acetate pieces left. We got a full, well, this, I've used many, you'll see them on the layouts, but we got loads of these little gorgeous cute wood buttons which I've popped into this just to keep them safe. We also get these cards. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these cards, but these are different, oh, excuse the rustling. These are different cities around the world. So they've all got the names on the back. So we've got St. Petersburg, Madrid, Moscow, Egypt. I'm good with some of them. New York, <laughs> uh, Tokyo, San Francisco, Seoul, Seoul. I don't know how you pronounce that. We've got Seoul. We've got Athens, Jakarta. We've got Jakarta. We've got Rome. I've up. Shanghai, I'll say a few of these I'm sure of, but when I go to check, I'm like, is it right, is it not? We've got Amsterdam, Istanbul, Singapore, Venice, then we have Kuala Lumpur, Paris, yes, that's Paris, and Sydney, I can tell you that one without looking, and then we have Dubai. So you get all those cards. We didn't use any of those on the layout. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them, but we have plenty of other goodies that I'm sure I know how I'm gonna use. Now, this is from the papers, and these were watercolored for one of the classes, which you'll see. So these are just my leftover bits that I did decide to keep hold of in case I want to use them on a future layout. We also got two frames. This is one, the other one I've used. So we got those. We got a complete stamp set, of which I've used a few, but lovely little typewriter script fonts. We got a roller date stamp, 
which I've not used yet, but it, the ones I did see other people use, it was great quality. And it does have some options um, that do symbols, so little hearts and stuff, rather than the dates. So you can do a little bit of variety with those. We got an alphabet. So we've got a full alphabet in there, complete with numbers and symbols. We got some gorgeous wood pieces, of which I've used quite a few, little wood origami. So they're cute. Then we've also got, this is the um, details of the layouts that we did, so I'll show you those in a moment. Then you get a full sheet of chipboard, of which I've used quite a few pieces, but there are some left. Oh, and they're popping out everywhere. We then also got a die cut sheet, which again I've used a few, but we've still got quite a few left. And these roses, while they're quite intricate to actually pop out, they're really nice when they're layered up on a page. And then a sticker sheet. So we've also got a sticker sheet of which I've used a few of those. So that was the embellishments, etc for this paper for this kit now papers there is loads so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one of each of the papers now in this kit box we actually got two of each papers so let me well, maybe we'll do it this way I've not got enough room to put stuff out of the way so you actually get two of each of these papers um, of which some of them I have used on the layouts but I've still got at least one of each left so we've got some gorgeous colors and the watercolors work perfectly with these we use this one in the class so these watercolors go great we've got a green stripe blue dot Nice pretty florals that you can cut out along with birds and butterflies. We've got a world map. Got some yellow. I can get hold of them. They're really nice thick quality as well. They stood up to the to the watercolouring really well. So we've got some flowers. And then we've got a big floral. And we've got another floral with blue. And then we've got the front of the box floral so we did get that one some nice watercolor flowers and then these are the flowers that are watercolor and cut out in that little embellishment we've got some nice blues nice bold stripes wood grain gorgeous red design, some more sort of watercolory faded florals, blossom petals, nice purpley pink and a bluey green. We've got a spotty and then we've got words. So I can't remember exactly how many papers, but you've got all of those papers times two. So absolutely loads of stuff to play with and to create. So um, yeah, so that was what we got to create with. We also got four sheets of white cardstock as well, um, of which I've of course used those on layouts. but absolutely fantastic kit on our desks to be able to play with so to show you what I created we had um, we had the, the sheet so we we got a sheet for each of the layouts along with instructions and we had the lovely um, Flora Monica I think that's how you pronounce your name I do apologize if I've said it wrong um, who designs for Alton New she's on their design team and she came and did lessons with these amazing layouts for us so this is the first layout that she created 
with all the watercolour painted hearts. And then this is my version of it. So I did back the picture with a different paper, but we took our inspiration from the chipboard flower. So we created that amazing layout. And then the second one was using that paper where we watercolored the little roses and cut them out. Now, as you may have noticed, those with eagle eyes, that little die cut or chipboard piece that was used on here, I've already used it on this layout because I like to vary things up. So, taking inspiration from this, I created this one. So I did decide to back my layout onto paper to help bring in that blue. And we've got all these gorgeous little cut apart flowers and I'm feeling like I'm missing one there. I'm not sure if it's come off because I was too eager and actually forgot to glue one, but I will go through my little pack and add that in. But we've got some of these gorgeous little wood buttons and I've got some chipboard arrows and stuff added on as well. So that's my second layout, which is a version of this one. This, my daughter in this picture, Carrie, she's not a major pink kind of girl. So while I did add a couple of little pops of pink, I kept it mainly blue for her. So that was the second layout. For the third layout, we did embrace the blue. So you can see we've got this gorgeous picture where we embrace the blue and use the frame. Now for this one, I actually used a picture of my daughter and my son. So I stitched down these little strips, which I felt has helped really well. I did do a lot very similar with the little cutout butterflies, though I did miss out the flowers. With it being a picture of my son, I didn't want to do too many flowers on it, but I love the way this one's turned out. So that's my version of this one. And then last but not least, we have the rainbow. <coughs> Excuse me. So for this rainbow layout, we've got the papers along with watercolors. And then we've got lots and lots of different die cuts on that one. So my version of this was my three girls. So I don't know if you can see, but these watercolours here, apart from one of the greens where I mixed in a little bit of blue because the watercolour tin only has one green, I didn't do any mixing on the rest apart from trying to make sure that they blended between each other. So the colours match really, really well. I've got some of the die cuts in there. I also put some more of the acetate in and I used quite a lot of wood buttons considering I have many left. So that was my fourth layout uh, that I did from this kit. So all in all, absolutely fantastic kit. We've got loads left, a wonderful day. Absolutely loved it. So thank you very much to all the Go Go Girls for putting on a great weekend. We did classes from about 10 o'clock until about five, maybe six, depending on if we were playing catch up. And then while the rest of the ladies were staying the whole weekend, they had classes into the evening, but we were welcome to stop and just scrap. So I did do a couple of other layouts afterwards. Um, I seem to take a while to get going, um, but I did create a couple of layouts. So I created this one with crepe paper. Uh, and this is the girl collection. Sorry, I'm not sure if my lights are shining on that too much. But I use quite a few of the tags to create that picture of me and my youngest. And then I used um, the Simple Stories Love Collection to create this layout of my husband with my second, our second eldest. But yeah, so they're the other layouts I created, but 
these are of course the ones we created from the class and it's absolutely fantastic to mess with those beautiful watercolours and um, the class teacher she was absolutely fantastic and did really really well as did everybody so if you're thinking um, you may want to go on a retreat or not I suggest go for it I've, I've been on a few events I've been on some of the birds of a feather events this is my first go go getaway event but it was absolutely awesome and I'll be going again when they come back up north next year but yeah thank you for joining me while I show you what we created at our day delegate um, trip with go go getaway and I'll speak to you all again soon